How are you doing? Gavin here from Growing Younger, and this video is about working out around a shoulder problem. So personally for me, I've had lots of injuries over the years, and, and a shoulder injury was one of the most debilitating things I've probably had, um, aside from my eight knee surgeries. And when you get some kind of shoulder impingement or shoulder injury, it makes it very, very difficult to actually work out. And like to be honest with you, you kind of lose the will to live, and you actually don't want to cop your ass to come to the gym in the first place. So what I want to do really with this video is take you on a bit of a deep dive into how I would structure or create a workout program for some of the shoulder pain, just to make you keep moving forward. So part of what we do with Growing Younger really is Alex being our physio, he will come in and he will assess the shoulders first and give us some guidelines around what to do, what not to do, and some rehab stuff. So I'm gonna give you an example about myself because it's easier to talk from a personal perspective and give, give away anybody else else's program. I'm gonna show you how I would create a workout from top to toe with some accessory lifts and everything else so you can stay working out regardless of whether you have an injury. So hopefully you find it insightful. I'll give you the, uh, the growing stronger method of uh, resistance training, explain to you what that's all about. And obviously we've applied that to thousands of people and people just like this who've had fantastic results doing how we do it. So come with me guys and I will take you over to the computer. Okay team, so we're uh, on to the computer. I'm gonna go through a, little, a couple of slides with you because I'm not an amazing at editing videos. So this is the best yet. So what I want to show with you really, if you've got any kind of inju injury, this is the shoulder injury kind of uh, addition, right? Like a shoulder injury is a big deal. So when I first injured my shoulder, I was doing Aikido <clears throat> and I, basically the, um, the, the, CV, the CV joint moved a little bit and it was really painful. So to the point where when I was in bed, I couldn't even lift up the, the sheets because it was painful, right? But I was still into my gym and I still love training and I had to come up with ways really to figure this out. So... There's something that I learned a long time ago, probably when I was doing my personal training course, which was um, like full body workouts. And full body workouts for me and our clients have become the staple of how we do the growing stronger method, okay? Because they're easy to do, and I'm not gonna deep dive into it, but ultimately you do a full body workout once, twice, three times a week if possible, you hit all the muscles of your body, um, you get a much better workout, much more time efficient. If you miss a day, it doesn't matter. You've hit everything anyway. Um, whereas if you do like shoulders, backs and arms and things like that, then what happens is that if you miss one, a whole bunch of your body muscles are getting missed. So this is how we do it. So I'm going to reduce my screen just a little bit. And so what we've got here is the growing stronger method. Okay. And what we're going to talk about is how I structure our workouts for our clients. So when I get a, um, a, a new client with whatever injury they've got or whatever else, there's a couple of things I like to go through. And I like to structure my workouts in this way. So we come with a quad dominant exercise, a glute dominant exercise, a horizontal push or a pull, sorry, horizontal pull and a push and a vertical push or pull. And I structure them in this order because it goes on the level of the biggest muscles to the smallest muscles. So what is the Growing Stronger Method? Well, it's simply an acronym for um what we got here growth okay so we must focus on promoting muscle growth and increasing metabolism for long-term health and wellness you must have resistance it must incorporate some resistance training to build strength and improve overall body composition it needs to be optimized so you know workouts are optimized nutrition is optimized um, and it supports muscle growth and metabolism boosting I uh, must have wellness. You must emphasize the importance of sleep as well, stress management, recovery to get stronger and fitter. Must be individualized. So we can't just have cookie cutter programs thrown out there. They gotta be highly personalized, which I will talk about today. Um, and you've gotta have good nutrition to support everything. And it must be goal orientated as well, because without some kind of goal or focus, then you know you just run in through the motions, right? So when we come into into this area. What I want to look at is I'm going to design a workout around somebody with a sore shoulder, i.e. myself, where I couldn't lift my arm out to the side, okay? So what we're going to look at is we're going to focus on a squat lunge movement. And a squat or a lunge movement, really, you know, for me, I can do a barbell squat quite easily, but for you, you may have to do a sit-to-stand or a goblet squat. But we can put a quad-dominant exercise in here, right? So you're going to go back, squat. Then we're going to pick a, a glute or hip dominant exercise, Romanian deadlift, hip thrust, wherever that is. So I'm going to choose Romanian deadlift. So bearing in mind, I know I've got a shoulder problem. So therefore, these exercises hopefully are not going to irritate my shoulder. So a goblet squat for me might be perfect. 
but at, at a barbell squat, my hurt my shoulder, right? So I'm going to stick with the goblet squat, Romanian deadlift. Then we're going to go to the seated row. So what happens is most horizontal rows towards the body, whether it be a bent over row or a leaning back lat pull down, you're still horizontal rowing. Anything pulling towards your body with the arms up parallel is a horizontal row or a pull. So I'm going to choose seated row. If you've got a shoulder problem, generally you can do this exercise without hurting or getting any any pain involved. So I know this is a good exercise. Then I'll do a lat pull down. Now, a lat pull down may cause, depending on the angle of the shoulder, a bit of pain. So you could lean back a bit further. You could lean forward, depending on where that is. Okay, but a lat pull down would be a good exercise. Chest press. So I know when I do uh, chest pressing, if I was to try to do a barbell bench press with a um, with a sore shoulder, it may not be very good. It might hurt a little bit. But there's also the angles as well. So if I I know for a fact if I do an incline chest press, then that actually hurts my shoulder. So I'm going to do a horizontal pushing movement. I know for me and my angle, it doesn't hurt that much. Then we're going to do a side lateral raise. So like. This is a really light exercise, and if I bend my elbow in and lift to the side, I can do this with very minimal pain. What I can't do, though, is a shoulder press. So if I do a shoulder press above my head, um, then really it becomes a massive issue, and I can't do it very well, okay? Um, and when we have clients in with shoulder pain, Alex, the physio here, will generally... Um, he kind of advise, advise against doing overhead shoulder movements. So keeping your arms under shoulder level is really good, good alternative for you. Then we're going to look at some accessories. Now, when you do this kind of workout, I know my, my, my uh, squats and deadlifts are doing my all my legs, my, my quads, my glutes, my hamstrings, the whole lot. I know a seated row and a lap pull down are pulling movements, so they incorporate the back and the biceps. I know a chest press, for argument's sake, is doing the triceps, front shoulders, and chest as well. And side lat raises are doing my side sides of my shoulders. So I don't really put lots of accessories in there. But what I might be lacking here is because I can't do a compound exercise in terms of an overhead press. I may have some weaknesses in my, uh, in my triceps. So what I might do here is add a, a tricep exercise. And because I like training arms as well, I'll do a, a, some accessory work here just to you know, get those T-shirt muscles out. And then I will do a rehab exercise. So for me, it'll be an external rotation. And when you go through this, this sort of framework here, you can design fantastic exercises and workouts around your pain. So there's a million different variations of squats and lunges, a million different variations of, of deadlifts and rows and all sorts of combinations. But if you do this, it gives you a nice, easy sort of uh, framework to follow for you to be able to design your workouts. So when you're going to look at how many sets, well, I like to do three sets of about 15 reps and about nine sets a week. So if I do this three times a week, three sets of 15, three times a week, nine sets a week. And this is really the studies are showing um, is a is, is a right amount of optimal amount of volume and work effort to, to actually um, get stronger, build some muscle and stuff, right? So you can do this, um, and that's really what it comes down to here. And really, that uh, that that is kind of uh, the, the simple way to do this stuff. So this is a very simple sort of um, outline and framework that we use all the time with our growing clients and something I personally use to avoid injuries. So I've applied this exact same thing to my knees or my back or, or my, actually I've got a bit of a, um, a tennis elbow right now. The same thing that I apply this, uh, this structure to. And this is how you can work out around injuries. You just kind of figure out what body part is hurting, go and see a specialist if you need to, or just find exercises that don't irritate that, uh, that thing and you're going to be absolutely fine, right? So I hope and that give you some insight into how we design a program. It seems quite simple, but really when you go into it, it's very difficult without you know having a person in front of me and, and being able to watch them lift and, and move around, okay? But you're going to know what that is. So for me, when I do a, a front press, it's okay. But if I go that way, it starts to hurt a little bit. So therefore, I know to bring it down in front of my body. So it's all about understanding your body, understanding all that stuff, and you can get a fantastic workout despite having any kind of shoulder injuries. So if you do like the video, do us a favor, give us a like, Give us a subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And down below, there's going to be a link there to ask a question. So if you found the video helpful or didn't, either way, I don't mind. Um, just write, submit your details in there with the question that you have. If you'd like me to expand on this or not, um, then obviously you can do that there. But appreciate you watching if you got this far. And I shall see you on the next video. Take care, team. Bye-bye.